Part 2, Service and Maintenance. This section helps you answer service-related questions or diagnose a problem relating to your a la gate cart. Let's start by getting a basic familiarity of your a la gate cart by viewing and understanding the parts that make the unit operate. The cart is powered by two 12-volt maintenance-free batteries wired in a series giving you 24 volt output to the motor and controller which are located here. Let's take a look at how to access the batteries inside the machine. Amperage comes from the batteries into the motor controller. The motor controller regulates the power, speed, acceleration, and deceleration of the motor via these wires. The motor, in turn, powers the differential transaxle. The other electronic item in this area is the contactor, which works in conjunction with the key switch for turning the machine on and off. The other items you must become familiar with are the battery gauge, which measures the remaining charge of the batteries. The high-speed dial, located here, which limits high-end speed of the unit. The key switch, which turns the power on and off. The circuit breaker, which helps prevent an amperage overload to the motor controller. The safety stop switch, which prevents an operator from getting pinned between a wall and the gate cart and the variable speed handlebar twist grips, which work in conjunction with the slow speed dial. The slow speed dial limits the high end speed the unit will travel, while the handlebars vary the speed when you turn them further or less, like this. The further you turn, the faster the unit goes. As you let go of the handlebars, the unit slows, stops, and the motor brake holds the gate cart in place. When we remove the handlebar box, you see a potentiometer with a gear that lines up another gear connected to the handlebars. The turning of these gears varies the speed. Okay, let's go over some basic troubleshooting questions that should cover most all the problems or issues that might occur with the ALA gate card. When I turn the key to the on position, nothing happens at all. Why is that? If the voltmeter doesn't come on, or you don't hear the contactor click, one of three things could be wrong. Check the battery voltage across the two batteries with a multimeter like this. You should have at least 24 volts. If less than 17 volts, you need to charge your gate cart as the batteries are too low for the unit to operate. If you have plenty of voltage, either the contactor or the key switch is not working. To check if it's the key switch, take the two wires going to the key switch and touch them together. If the key switch is defective, the machine should turn on. If it still doesn't turn on, you can test both of the bigger posts on the contactor with a multimeter. With the key turned on, you should have 24 volts on both posts. The gate cart turns on and powers up, but does not move. Why is that? First, make sure wires number 9 and 14 are plugged into the controller and are making a good connection. Two, make sure the motor connector under the machine is plugged in and is not damaged. Three, check to make sure the 5K potentiometer and the handlebar is centered like this. Test the black and red wire on the pot with an amp meter like this. While held stationary, the center position of the handlebars should read between 2.4K ohm and 2.6K ohm. If it is out of that range, the machine will not move when you turn the key switch on. Center the gears like this. Four, test the controller for incoming power. You should have at least 24 volts coming into the controller at the B plus and B minus terminals. Now check voltage at the motor connector under the machine. 
with the machine on and rotating the handlebars all the way forward or reverse, you should have the same voltage as you did going to the controller. If you do not, the controller isn't producing amps to the motor and this could be bad. You should replace the controller. 5. Check to make sure the brake lever is engaged. To operate, this lever should be in the down position on the motor brake. If you can push your gate cart by hand with the key in the off position, the brake lever is disengaged and disabling the power to the handlebars. Engage the brake lever and turn the key switch to the on and off position. The gate cart only goes forward slowly and does not go in reverse. Why is that? The red e-stop button is pushed in or the e-stop is not hooked up. Twist the red button clockwise to release the button. Check the e-stop wiring. Is there a wire loose or not connected? You can also connect the two wires that are hooked up to the e-stop contact block. If the unit runs, the e-stop switch is bad. When I turn on the handlebar, I can hear the unit running, but it doesn't move. Why is that? The coupler at the end of the DC drive motor has either fallen off or broken. Take the drive motor off the transaxle by removing these two bolts and then inspect the coupler like this. At the end of the motor, there should be a plastic coupler that slides into the transaxle. If the plastic coupler is broken, the unit will not move. When I rotate the handlebar, it does not snap back into the center position. Why is that? The torsion spring has either slipped off the centering bolt or the spring has broken. Take the screws out of the control box to pull the box apart. The bottom part will pull completely off and the top part can rotate up. Inspect the torsion spring to make sure it's in the proper position. Replace it if necessary. The gate cart shows full power until I start to use it. Then the needle on the voltmeter drops down into the red. Why is that? You probably have one or more bad batteries. You can check the batteries with a multimeter. You should have 12 volts on each of the batteries. You may have a bad cell in one or more of the batteries causing the machine to lose power. In this case, you'll need to replace the battery. When I'm traveling with the gate cart, I hear a pop and the machine stops moving. Why is that? The circuit breaker on the machine has blown. Turn the machine off and push in the circuit breaker. It should reset itself. If this happens more often, the circuit breaker could be wearing out, and you may need to replace the breaker. The machine is moving a lot slower than normal in both directions. Why is that? Make sure the slow speed pot on the instrument panel is turned up to the number 2 or 3. If it is turned down too low, the machine will barely move. Check the voltage to make sure you have 24 volts across the two batteries. My voltmeter shows full power even when I turn the key switch to the off position. Why is that? There is a diode in the main harness next to the key switch wires. If your voltmeter shows full power and the machine works with the key off, the diode is bad. You need to replace the diode. When I plug my charger into the wall, the lights do not come on. Why is that? Make sure the rocker switch on the charger is turned to the on position. If still no lights, try plugging the charger into a different outlet. If that doesn't work, then the charger is defective. What do the lights on my charger tell me? When the red light is on, it means the charger is receiving power from the wall outlet. When the other light is orange, the batteries are being charged. When it turns green, the batteries are fully charged.